Everybody's got a pretty good understanding of what vacuum does. Um, you know, the whole concept of positive pressure or negative pressure, and then what that also does to boiling points of, of different like liquids and stuff. So, um, so we'll start off doing a, a, a little demonstration. I've actually put together, I got this, uh, this vacuum jar plate, uh, this hose. I got my yellow hose off my gates that go into my vacuum pump down here. Um, and, um, uh, and then these gauge sets, um, I think most of you know, but for those of you that don't, these valves on your gauge sets, the only thing, they don't have anything to do with the pressure, okay, the actual gauge itself. The only thing they do is connect the yellow hose to the blue hose or, or with the blue valve or the yellow hose to the red hose with the red valve. Okay, so when you're put, when you're taking something out or putting something in, taking out refrigerant, taking out air, taking out moisture, putting refrigerant in, putting oil in, you know, that's when you would use these valves. Well, when you're just pressure testing, you leave these shut. Okay, but the way I've got this rigged up is I'm going to be able to turn my vacuum pump, which will create a vacuum in this yellow line. I'm going to open that vacuum up into this vacuum tube. It is going to basically put a vacuum on the inside of the jar and I'll be able to measure it off of my blue gauge here. Okay. Um, and then when I want to release it, because at that point this will be glued to the plate, I won't be able to get that off. So to release it to go to the next item, I'll have to basically open the red valve and the blue valve and that will let this atmospheric pressure go in to release the vacuum. All right. So with that, we're going to start with a balloon. Okay, so I'll put that balloon in there. And before I put a vacuum on it, let's take a quick prediction on what you think is gonna happen to that balloon. Andy, what do you think? When I put a vacuum on it, what will that balloon do in there? Um, probably rise. Okay. Oh, you mean like, like, yeah. like float? Maybe, yeah. Okay. Maybe not. I think it's gonna stay there. About. What about its size? Do you think it'll stay the size it's in? It'll shrink down. You think it'll? I think so. That's what you think it'll shrink? Yeah. yeah. It's going to grow. So you think it'll blow up? It's going to grow. Shrink. You think it'll shrink? Grow. It's going to expand. Whoa, we got three. And three. Wow, we got an even split here. All right, well, let's see what happens. I'm not sure how big. Oh, there we go. So it grew, right? So Jeff, you said it was going to grow, right? And you're moving air. What's that? You're sucking. You're drawing the air out. You're making more. Out of the balloon? No, out of the vessel. Okay. Yep. And so why did the why did that make the balloon grow though? Plus internal pressure now. You remove the. The pressure so, was in there and you created a vacuum so it had room to it will expand. So the air that's in the balloon is is a fluid, right? You know, we you know it's like refrigerant. It's or you know it's a it's a fluid. We don't think of it like that, but that's what it is. But the pressure that it's under, it wasn't a lot of pressure, it was like, you know, whatever pressure I could blow with my mouth, so a couple PSI or whatever, it wasn't really but the pressure around the outside of the balloon has gone into a negative and fluid always wants to move from higher pressure to lower pressure, okay? So that air in the balloon is trying to occupy the space around the balloon because it's less pressure. And because the balloon is made out of a flexible seal, it's still a seal, right? It didn't, it didn't pop, it didn't let it all out, but it, it's a flexible seal. So, um, so it basically flexed the seal to try to move into that space is what it did, okay? Okay, so now I'm gonna do a marshmallow. Put 
put that on there. All right. Now, Andy, what do you think? Uh, that'll probably shrink. Okay. I'm thinking shrink too. I think it's going to stay the way it is. Not going to move at all? Okay. I'm going to shrink. I'm just going to shrink. Shrink. Okay. <laughs> What's it doing? Now, this one is going to be just like doing the same thing the balloon did, right? For a minute. But we're going to keep watching it. Now what's happening? Now it's pulling off oxygen there. So, right. It was, it was trapped. Yeah, exactly. So, when it first started off, it was a lot like this balloon. There's marshmallows, you know, just got a lot of air on the inside of them, right? And, but unlike, so, you know, when it first started off, all that air is trapped. So, again, it's trying to move out, so it's trying to expand its flexible seal. But what's different with the marshmallow, it's got a lot of pores in it, right? So once it opens far enough and opens all those pores up, then all that air escapes, and then it kind of comes back to where it was. So what do you think will happen now when I release the vacuum? What's that? It should shrink right down. Okay. So... What I, so right now on the inside of the marshmallow, there's, there's re, when we talk about nothing, that is really nothing, like space, right? And space is truly nothing. Here, we think this is nothing, but it's not. There's a fluid right here, there, right? There is no air inside that marshmallow right now. So when I release it and I bring that, so I got negative pressure inside the marshmallow, positive pressure on the outside, Now you have a marshmallow with no air in it. Carbon air That is the densest, driest marshmallow you'll ever have. Okay. But that is basically what we are trying to do when we vacuum our air conditioning system out. We are trying to take all of the air and the moisture out of the inside of all those lines. So there really is absolutely nothing on the inside of it. So that then when I put refrigerant in there, it's pure refrigerant. It's not mixed with air, it's not mixed with moisture, it's not mixed with anything, okay? But what I wanna show you now is, is um, why we can't just simply run it for like a minute or two like I did and say, oh, good enough, I got all the air and moisture out of it.